Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video today, we're going to talk about a fairly new content creator who joined YouTube back on the 11th of June 2012, but only started her journey as a content creator about 7 months ago. In this video, I'm going to talk about her life and her fame in India. She's a Bollywood actress, and turns out that she's very famous. But before we begin, make sure to hit that subscribe button and slap that notification bell, and let's begin with the video. Natasa Stankovic was born on the 4th of March 1992. She's a Serbian dancer, model, and actress based in Mumbai. Born to Goran Stankovic and Radmila Stankovic and a brother, Nenad Stankovic, to complete the family, she made her debut in Bollywood films with a political drama called Satyagraha, which was directed by Prakash Jha. She's been a very important part of Bollywood with her participation in series like Big Boss and competitions like Nuch Bali and Nine. In the dance competition, the tour was quarter in a controversy when she forgot her dance steps and started crying on stage and then stormed off without any kind of indication. The judges will not be happy with Sunny Deol, the guest judge of the episode, not liking that at all. She would soon realize her mistake and then would let us show up on stage to apologize for her unprofessional behavior. So back in 2012, Stankovic moved to India to pursue a career in acting. She began her career as a model for Johnson & Johnson and the year that in 2013, she made her first indie film debut with a film called Satyagraha where she appeared in a dance performance in a song called Ayogi with a very famous Indian actor called Ajay Devgan. But her fame catapulted when she appeared in a popular song by Bacha and Asta Gill. The song is titled DJ Vale Babu. After which she appeared in the film called 7 Hours to Go directed by Saurabh Verma where she played the role of police and performed action sequences but with good talent in dancing she was given another dance number called Mabuba for the film Fukure Returns for which she was praised after which she worked in the film Zero with many notable Indian actors and actresses like Anushka Sharma, Katrina Kaif and Shah Rukh Khan. She was an arising name in Bollywood when she started dating Ali Goni back in 2004 eventually broke up after which she began dating Sam Merchant who's also a performer, model and entrepreneur in India. But she tried or not with Hardik Pandya on the 1st of January 2020 and they got married during the COVID-19 pandemic and they have a son together named Agastya who was born on the 30th of July. Natasha and Hardik met at a nightclub years before the knock. He proposed to Natasha on a New York cruise months after announcing their engagement in May 2020. Here's a fun fact. Natasha developed an interesting dance when she was only 3 years old and that led her to attend Serbia's ballet dance school for 17 years and specialize in different forms. She did that all while she was taking up modeling assignments in Serbia. She was also the Miss Sports of Serbia, a title she received back in 2010. After coming to Mumbai, she started her career with various TV advertisements like Cadbury, Philips, Tetley, Hampstead, Durex, and Johnson & Johnson. One thing about India is that India has a different kind of Bollywood known as a Tollywood where she worked in a film released in 2016 titled Dan Kayonu. Tasha came from Serbia to grind in India and she's been phenomenal over these years. She says that the main source of inspiration is her mother and she's also an average animal lover and has a pet dog named Curly. Today she vlogs on YouTube sharing her daily life living with an Indian cricketer and showing her eccentric lifestyle. The shift in my opinion has been hard with the transition in culture but she's one of the most talented actors in Bollywood and she's humble enough to share her life on YouTube. She has a net worth of 2 million dollars and can take anywhere from 300,000 to a million for projects. She can't reside with her husband in Vadodara, India. She owns a Lamborghini Huracan Evo, an Audi A6, Mercedes AMG G63, Land Rover, Range Rover. She has joined the YouTube community and we'd like to welcome her aboard. So that's gonna do it guys. Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe to us and we'll see you in the next one.